Hey everybody, Curtsy is here. Welcome to Circle Empire Rivals. Now, really quick, yes, I'm gonna get to the Skyrim stuff, but I need at least one more day here to get prepared. Uh, like, setting up the, um, the restoration loop is expensive and time-consuming, so I need another day here. So, this is the game, by the way, I mentioned before that I had my, my eyes on uh, for live streaming and possibly doing like subscriber games and stuff with so anyways what this is this is an rts of sorts it's multiplayer which is why i want to do subscriber games with it and you have a whole bunch of different heroes that have different um uh, which one had the pumpkin mancer because the pumpkin mancers are funny I think this one. But anyway, so the uh, idea here is that you either conquer the map or you kill a specific enemy army on the map. And you can either do this alone or with other players. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys just a normal game really fast. Sometimes these games can go pretty fast. That's really loud for me. Okay. Yes. Okay, this one has the pumpkin mixer. Anyway, the first thing you do is you set down your storage, which is good. And then you have these pumpkin workers. And you just go ahead and just slam all your stuff into pumpkin workers. Because you need workers to bring food and stuff back to the storage. And you're going to slam in a bunch of workers pretty fast here. Because uh, this faction has uh, some extra defensive towers. Or this leader does and then you're gonna do food harvesting so your guys will harvest more food and faster and nutrients which will make them move faster so they grab food and stuff faster and then when you run out of food or oh, there's gonna be some random spawns uh, a lot of the stuff will respawn so you just have to wait for it or you can also, just uh, this guy right here. The uh, pump Pumpkin Necromancer. They're pretty amazing. And doing the Pumpkin Faction is actually... The Nature Faction is what... Uh, this is the strategy you are going to employ, I think. But uh, let's see here. Because you see, when you put a pumpkin near the Pumpkin Necromancer... Boom! He turns it into a Pumpkin Man. Makes it hard... To, uh, to put down pumpkins for food. Unless you tell him to stay stay put. If you tell him to stay put, he it's not that bad. And then you also pick up wood harvesting one. And then melee armor and sharper swords. And you don't need masonry right now. Anyways, and then you gotta go to the advanced stuff here. You need to pick up a bank. So, make sure you pick up a bank. Where's that bank again? Oh, right there. Boom. Banks will generate gold. You can only have one per circle that you have. There are nine circles on this map. Pretty simple. This game is amazing, by the way. I actually went through and unlocked all the... Uh, all the... <laughs> all the general leaders you can get your hands on. Here, turn that into a pumpkin. Boom! Another pumpkin man. Anyway, so there's going to be random factions on the map. Bandits. Uh, and then there's going to be, like, special factions, like, called invaders. And you got to kill them to win the game. Pretty simple. Anyway. What we need here... Is we need trees. We're gonna need just some, uh... Everything costs wood, which is pretty expensive. So I think what we're gonna do... Is 310 power. Boom! 
Another pumpkin man. Unfortunately, the game does uh, discern between you just selecting workers over selecting troops. So you'll never select the troops and the workers all together. And you just keep on making it and the these guys have a lot of damage too. So they're uh, they're pretty good. 210. Uh, we don't have enough just yet. I can make frogmen though. Oh yeah, let's do frogmen. Froggies. All right, froggies. Let's get out there and go take care of this. Anyways, you just press Q and you tell them the move attack. And they'll pretty much target the best possible stuff to target. Right, let's give me some more food and boom. And after that, oh yeah, you guys level up too. They get experience and they level up and they get way stronger. Anyway, this is a big worker. He actually gathers a lot more than the average worker does. That's a healing mushroom. Let's go over here really quick. Attack the healing mushroom. Boom, heals your people who were hurt. Froggy, come here. Okay, there's the invaders. Hey, frog, come on. This way. There you go. Pull them in. Good job tricking them, boy. Okay. Hmm. Another pumpkin man. So I don't want to capture this just yet because the invaders are right up there in the middle. So I'm actually going to go over here. Uh, that costs too much. Um, what I need is actually more... More workers. I need more wood. They need to gather me all the wood. Oh yeah, that's right. Speaking of wood... I can put down the forester here. And the forester will spawn a tree after 80 seconds. That's good. Good stuff. And, oh, these frog witches cost 400 gold. That's a lot of gold. Give me the wood I need, please. I need wood. There we go. As long as the uh, invaders are not invading, so to speak, we're good to go. Break in, boys. Go get them. Oh, no. No, you can't do that. This guy never hurt anybody. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there's gold here, so that's really good, actually. Alrighty. And now... Where's my... There he is. Another pumpkin man. Okay, so now that we have an economy going... Sort of. What we do here is we just kind of keep on econing. And now I need food. Which we can fix that. There we go. And then we'll put down another bank. Then I need foresters. I need 1,200 gold for the foresters. Or, food. Oh, there's the invaders. That's not cool. Um, We'll put down... Oh, okay, I already have a wall. Good. There we go. Beautiful. 
Uh, what have we got? 770. They're 900 strength. So what I need here... Is just to put down more guys. So that way we're equal in strength and they won't attack. Yet. They won't attack yet. Okay, then I'm just gonna kind of just trick him in here. There we go, we tricked the invaders in, we destroyed their army. And it's pretty much it's GG at this point. I destroyed their army, they're done. They won't be, unless you're on a harder difficulty, they're not going to spawn an army fast enough to uh, be a threat. So I'm just going to really quick, I'm just going to end the game here. Go guys. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I love the pumpkin strategy. It's just so fun. Necromancers make more pumpkin men. Ooh. The boxes sometimes contain units. This one did. And we're just gonna spawn a bunch of workers. Oh yeah. And we're gonna push in. Go get them, boys. Like if you look at this pumpkin pumpkin man here. He's like, hey, look at me. I'm amazing. And there you have it. The game is over. And that's it. And you can do this multiplayer with friends or subscribers, maybe. Um, this is just the game I've been having my, my eye on, and I was like, wow, this is pretty great. And if you want this game, it's on Steam for like $14. Not that big of a deal. Anyway. So if you own this game, let me know, and maybe I'll uh, play it with subscribers on Sundays when I live stream, okay? Anyways, though. And there's a whole ton of other heroes, too. Like, and it doesn't take, like, they're all locked, except for this one and like the first three up here but all you have to do is just play a game with each one and eventually you'll unlock them all and you don't even have to play on any particular difficulty to unlock them you just play one hero what one general move on to the next play that one move on to the next and then just repeat that until you have them all so it's not bad this is a fun game and each game on small maps takes about 10 12 minutes but i'm would assume that bigger games on harder difficulties would take maybe like an hour, half hour to an hour. But anyways, though, it's all the time I have for right now. Like I said, I got to get back to Skyrim. I got to finish setting up to be able to make some really good equipment because that's kind of what the poll said to do. And, you know, I'll do what you guys want me to do and hopefully I can do it. There, there is suspicion that the, that Bethesda did patch the, uh, the rest of restoration loop exploit but i'm not sure but anyways though thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel please subscribe hit the notification bell and maybe i'll just do some more of this game in the future just because it's it's everything is um procedurally generated every game is kind of its own story its own its own different game and especially with a whole bunch of different generals it's pretty great so let me know what you guys think. Comment down below if you're new to the channel. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.